News, putting North Dakota first. The annual Norse Cust Fest doesn't begin until Wednesday, but people are already showing up. Reporter Natalie Gomez takes us to the parking lot that some will call their home for the next week. It's an event that attracts people from all around. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Host Fest. Well, I think it's the entertainment and the people. Cantillon, originally from Canada, is one of the many who have arrived early. He and his wife have been regular Host Fest attendees for the past eight years. When we originally came down here, and I thought, well, you know, this is great because everybody's got white hair and you feel so young. Some campers have been here since Thursday of last week. This year, they're expecting at least 900 RV campers to show up at this year's Huzz Fest, but they can accommodate at least 500 more. Aside from the campers, there's also the people working behind the scenes, like Larry Grindy, who's in charge of coordinating all the campsites. I'm just trying to organize and make it work as smooth as you can. His favorite part? Meeting all the people again and again and again. This year, Grindy has close to 15 volunteers facilitating the many campers, one of them 87 years young. It's nice to volunteer and help people out, and it helps uh, Norsk who's fest out. What offer helps campers get to and from the venue? Hi, would you like a ride to your motorhome? Sure, I sure would. Some just can't walk very far, and when you get in the building, why... There's a lot of walking there to do also. As the day gets closer, campers and volunteers are ready for the fun. Reporting for KX News, I'm Natalie Gomez. Post Fest mm. begins Wednesday, goes through Sunday this week. A lot of people look forward to that event. Thanks. Stay with us. Keep it here. Still to come. If you. <laughs>